The following broadcast is a production made by students of Hilo High School, KVX TV. Today is Show Your Spirit Wednesday. To show class spirit, each of the four classes will be participating in a mini Olympics competition. This mini Olympics will consist of three different games, a running obstacle course, a go-kart race, and a hamster ball soccer game, where the classes of Hilo High will compete in order to take home the gold. Representing our freshman class in the running obstacle course, we have Emily Lavarias and Kavehi Augustine. Representing the sophomore class, we have Tiffany Castillo and Keenan Dre Sarmatian. Representing our junior class, we have Anasani Sapinga and Zoshi Gervais. And lastly, representing our senior class, we have Masila Siwa and Hanale Kaho'okalana. Participants will start at the starting line and then run to the ping pong table in which they will need to get three ping pongs into any of the cups in order to move on. After that, students will then move on to the next table where they have the option of choosing one of two spoons to carry an egg to the other side without dropping it. After successfully completing the egg carry, students will then hop in a potato sack and a race to cross the finish line. The winner of each round will advance to the next round until there is one overall winner. Doing a live play-by-play -play will be our KVX TV athletics commentator, Joseph Gardner. Now let the games begin. We have our first competition of the day coming up right now. We have our freshman representatives going down. They will be throwing their ping pongs inside of the cup, see which they can get inside. Oh, ping pongs are flying today, folks. Looks like we have our first runner going into the eggs. Let's shoot at the egg section. Running down the court, out to the orange cone. Okay, just moving on to the next potato sack race here. While our other representative is still struggling with the ping pongs. The potato sack race is going on. She's making her way halfway down the court. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is not a fair race. We have a winner. And the race has begun. A little early start there, but we have our ping pong competition starting right now. Both sides seem to be struggling with one sophomore coming all the way to the egg portion of the obstacle course already. And we have our second runner up coming up now. Already onto the potato sack race. This is coming to a close game already. <laughs> Uh oh, is it going to be close? Oh, <laughs> just close enough. We have our winner from the sophomore class taking it home. Congrats, sophomore class of 2023. Now we have our junior class, the class of 2022, coming up to show their stuff. And we're off as a junior get ready to shoot their ping pongs inside the obstacle course. Seems like this is the part that's been tricky and almost the, the play that's gonna be the determinant of who's winning this next part. And both contestants are real close with their, with their eggs inside of the spoon inside of this part. It's really close here, ladies and gentlemen. Juniors. There, as we have our potato sack race. And we have our winner from the junior class. Congratulations, juniors. We have a lot of spirit coming from the crowd here today, from all the classes. Doing a wonderful job of keeping spirit during this troubling times, during this pandemic, but it's all good here. <laughs> Okay, we have our seniors coming up right now. Countdown will begin shortly. Our senior class coming with the ping pongs out of the obstacle course. Both sides seem to be missing most of the balls inside of the cup. 
Oh, we have our first. Oh, both of them are real close. Leg in the spoon. Both are off to the potato sack race. It is close. Oh, oh. And we have a fumble on top of the gymnasium floor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not close anymore. But congrats to our seniors, making everybody inside of the stands laugh here today. One full spirit from all the classes. Congratulations, all the classes. Tonight, now we have our senior class going against our freshman class from the winners. It'll be interesting seeing our class of 2024 against the class of 2021, see how it goes. Both teams off to a nice start here. We have our first senior coming into the next portion and our freshman class coming already with the egg and the spoon. So far we've seen no spillage of the eggs so far. Both teams are now in the potato sack portion. And it looks like we have our senior coming across the finish line. Congrats seniors. I like to say these games are pretty close. And much competition and nice spirit from both, all the classes here today so far. As a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing our best here in the gymnasium to remain socially distanced and being aware of our surroundings and others around us to stop the spread of COVID-19 and keep as safe as possible here today. Now we will have our sophomore and junior class coming against each other. I have a feeling it's gonna be a really intense and close game, so let's see how it starts. And the countdown has started. Both teams, both classes, I should say. Doing their best on top of the cup pong. We have our junior class, which is my class. Doing a wonderful job already. It looks like it's getting even closer and closer as the time goes down. Sophomores taking their time so far on the egg race section. And our juniors already racing. A little bit of a struggle there, but it seems like our junior is already across the finish line. Congrats to our junior. I believe coming into the latter part of the game, we have our senior class going against the winner of this game, which is our junior class. Winner v. Winner, let's see who takes it home. It's a very interesting game here today, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to say thank you to everybody watching this, watching this here today. And special thanks to the KVX TV crew for making this stream possible for us here inside of the gymnasium as we remain socially distanced and aware of our surroundings. We have the finals of the obstacle course coming up right now with our junior and senior class. Let's see how it starts. And they're off. Juniors and seniors getting a quick start to the ping pong. It's pretty close, ladies and gentlemen. I think both have two. Oh, and they both have three inside the cups. Okay, the egg race is going on. Both are doing a really good job keeping a steady pace with the eggs. Senior class and the junior class in the potato sack are ready. And the races are off. Seniors taking the lead. Juniors struggling behind. And the seniors win it. Congrats to our class of 2021 seniors. Congratulations to all participants. The second game is the go-kart race. However, there is a twist. Students will be wearing drunk busters goggles, which will give the simulation of driving under the influence. We decided to include this game as we wanted to share the message of driving safely. We hope that you will see that being under the influence or being distracted while driving is something we should all avoid. To simulate that, each of the students will be wearing drunk buster goggles of different influence ranges. The students will be challenged to drive in a safe manner. The first student to complete two laps will move to the next round. Representing our freshman class in the go-kart race, we have Miley Hunter and Sweetie Leslie. Representing the sophomore class, we have Tiffany Costello and Keenan Dre Sarme Shin. Representing our junior class, we have Lilia Ikari and Katherine Kruger. 
And lastly, representing our senior class, we have Chanel Huang and Hunter Okumura. Let's see how they do. And they are off. Both racers have the, I should say, dizzy goggles or junk goggles on to make it a little bit more challenging for them to race. Going through the obstacle course right now. Seems like we have Chanel representing the senior class in the lead so far against her fellow classmate. That was almost a close call. <laughs> now we have, it's a very close race. And we have And we have our winner from the senior class. Now we will have our freshman class coming to do their version of the go-kart race, which is very interesting we seen last with the senior class. The countdown has begun and our freshmen are off in the race. The Dizzy Goggle is making it a little bit harder for the racers to race. So far, none of the races have overtaken, but a cone is going down. A cone is going down, ladies and gentlemen. This race seems to be not very close, but we have a racer catching up to her fellow representative, and we looks like we have a winner. Congrats to the freshman class. All right, we have our sophomore class coming up, the class of 2023. They'll be showing what they can do on top of the go-kart with the dizzy goggles. It's gonna be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. And they're off, or one of them's off. <laughs> okay, the sophomores are going. Looks like it's coming to a pretty close as they reach the corners. They both make it around. This is pretty tight, ladies and gentlemen. A pretty tight race. Both making it around the corner on top of one of their final stretches, I believe. As they both make it around the corner, slowing down, catching speed. And I believe we do have a winner. Congrats, sophomores. Class of 2023. And we have our juniors coming up, the class of 2022. So far, it's been pretty close with all these races, so it's going to be interesting. Let's see how it goes. Three, two, one, and they are off. It's a slow start for both of the juniors here. Got some friendly competition and encouragement from the audience members cheering on their fellow Hilo High classmates. As they both make their way around the corner, it's pretty close. Making their way across the final stretches of the match. It's pretty close. The last stretch. And I don't know if we have a winner or not, but we'll see during the next round of these go-kart games. And the winners of the freshman and the junior class will be Thanks going against each other with the dizzy goggles and their go-karts. The timer has started and they are off. Both to a speedy start. making their way around the corner. We only had one cone. Oh, make it two uh, cones that have been run over. And that might have been the determining factor of who wins and who loses this game. And looks like we have our junior class taking it home. Wow, that was perfectly timed. My cone call. Oh, and make it our third cone that's ran over. Oh, it's two laps. I forgot it's two laps. The game is still going, ladies and gentlemen. 
And the corner just still ran over, no boundaries. And it looks like our freshman class is catching up. This is intense. This is cool. Congrats to our freshmen, actually. <laughs> Congrats to our freshman class. Class of 2024, taking a home. That was, that was interesting. Poor cones. Imagine how those cones are feeling right now. Poor cones. Let's get a round of applause for the cones, everybody. They did a good job. We have our sophomore and senior class going against each other. It's gonna be very interesting. We have a thumbs up Keith and the Racers. And let's get started. We have a running start, or I should say driving start, from the freshman, sophomore class, excuse me. Coming around the corners, I believe it's two laps. Going around the corner, it's gonna be, is it gonna be close? We have our freshman class not too far behind our senior, our except we sophomore class not too far behind the seniors. And it looks like we have no winner. Excuse me, I almost forgot the two laps again. It's final stretch. Going around the corner. And it looks like our freshmen have sophomores, excuse me, have won. Congrats, sophomores. It looks like going into the finals for this go-kart race, we have our sophomore class and our freshman class. It's going to be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. And the racers are off. We have our freshman going against our sophomore class. Inside of this go-kart competition, both making their way around the corner. It's a pretty close game here, ladies and gentlemen. I believe our freshmen are in the lead. They're a nice way making their way around the corners. We have a speed racer here. We have Tiffany Castillo representing the sophomores. Making their way around the corner. I believe they have three laps to make it. The Dizzy Goggles not helping them one bit, but it's interesting as they both make their way around the corner. They seem like they need to be neck and neck right now. It is close, it is close. I believe they are on their final stretch. In the final stretch we have Freshman class represent. Nice. Congrats freshman class of 2024. Wow, that was fun and exciting. While it did look silly, remember that driving under the influence can cause serious accidents. The last game is a hamster ball soccer. Participants will attempt to score as many goals as possible within a five minute time period while inside a giant hamster ball. The winner of each round will move on to the next round until there is one final match for who will take home the gold. Representing our freshman class today, we have Emily Lavarias and Sarah Varese. Representing the sophomore class, we have Tiffany Castillo and Chloe Saplan. Representing our junior class, we have Elijah Hailey and Kanan Kaku. And lastly, representing our senior class, we have Masila Siwa and Hanale Kaho'okalana. Let's get started. And they are off the seniors with the first test to run, and they are both down. This is going to be an interesting match. They have their chances to get up. Seems like Hanale has made his way up and he is standing. And he scores a first point for the first point for the senior. And they're off once again. Masilla seems to attempt the goal there. And it goes out of bounds. Our helper is bringing the ball back in to play. And we take another fumble. Seems like the ball is still in play. Masilla going for the point and he scores. We go into the next 
portion of the game, going for the point. Priscilla steals the ball, gains possession. He shoots and he scores. That was wonderful. Wonderful play for Priscilla. This might be an unfair advantage he has since he has prior soccer experience playing for Hilo High, but either way you slice it, it's a point for Priscilla. Priscilla gets the ball, going off of his opponent. Dribbling, trying to score some point action right there. The, the ball gets placed in and Hanalei scores. They are tied 2-2 as you can see by the scoreboard across the gym. And they're off attempting to break this tie. Priscilla shoots. He misses and it might just be going in and it's just a little short of the goal. Priscilla has his possession. Making it past Hanalei. They're chasing. They're chasing. He shoots and he just misses again. These scores are very intense and it's going to be a wonderful and exciting night, ladies and gentlemen. As another reminder, the social distancing. One minute left. As another reminder, these hamster ball bubbles are representing social distancing as Masilla picks up his third point of the night as we have one minute left on the clock. Masilla has the ball. He's in, currently in the lead. Tries to sneak a fast one there between the legs of Hanalei. And it goes out of bounds. Hanalei has the ball. Can't make it past the legs of Priscilla. It goes out of bounds. As we head down the final minutes, seconds I should say, of the game. Priscilla has possession. <laughs> Loses his footing and enables Hanalei to score. And that is a tie for the senior boys. We were going into a final attempt for either players to score first overtime, and Masilla gets that one out of bounds. So it will be the possession of Hanalei. See what he can do to score for himself. Masilla steals. Oh gosh, this is going to be an intense night. An intense attempt. Looks like a long kick. And it is just shy of the goal. Remember, first to score is the winner. Hanalei with the ball. With a far kick to the outer gymnasium floor. And that is also a no goal. Open goal, Masilla. Can't get that one in. Both boys seem to be struggling, but it's the first game of the night of the day, so no hard feelings. Come 
Silla finally gets his score for the senior class and he will be going on to the semi-finals. And the next game is up. We have our juniors coming in. We have Kanan and Elijah going up against each other. It's going to be very interesting. Elijah has the ball. He makes his first attempt at a goal and is just shy of the goal. Kanan receives the ball. Elijah gets the ball. He's all the way at his goal and he goes out of bounds. We have our second ball in. Our second ball in. Kanan makes a attempt shot at the goal, and Kanan with an open goal just misses. So another ball in play. We have seen no fumbles yet, but expect that. Between the legs, Kanan goes, and Elijah get his point. Elijah with the point one to zero. Both players are off. Kanan with the ball. Elijah on the defense. Let's see what's going to happen here. He's seen the ball to the, our advantage. Another ball is in play. And the ball is almost inside the net there from an off footing from Kanan, but the ball is in play around the half court line. An attempt to score there, Elijah takes possession. An open shot at the goal. That's a no goal. Kanan with the ball, trying to work his way around. New ball in play, Elijah with the ball. And the ball is on top of the defender's side. And that was a very close, but no good shot by Kaden, and there's another no good shot. Kaden has the ball again. Let's see what's gonna happen. And another no good shot from Kaden there. Elijah with the ball. This is Elijah's chance for another score, and it is just shy of the goal. We've seen many of those here, not only in this game, but in the previous game, and I expect much more to come, so. We have a limited amount of time on the clock left. Let's see what these guys can do. And, a, and Kanan scores for himself. And we are tied now at 1-1. One to one. We are currently at a tie. The next round starts. Kanan using his way up to the ball. We have one minute left on the clock. Elijah playing a strong defense. Guarding his goal. A new ball is in play after a swing and a miss. Oh wait, this is not baseball. This is soccer. Anyways... Kanan has the ball, he shoots, and that's a nice dribbling skill from Kanan. He gets it in. Point to Kanan. We have, I would say, less than 30 seconds on the clock. Let's see what Elijah can do to hopefully advance to the finals. The score 2 to 1. Kanan in the lead for the juniors. Elijah has a very short number, of, a short amount of time left. He has to do something. A score from a score attempt from Kanan goes out of bounds. The new ball is in play. And that is a goal. 
Nice footing there from Elijah getting it in. We might be going into overtime here. And they are off in this overtime portion of the game. Kanan with the ball. Representing our junior class to see what both of these boys can do. A swing and it, a kick, I should say, and a miss. Elijah with the ball on his side of the court. Another kick and a miss. Elijah gains the possession. He goes for a long goal and it is in. Elijah takes the goal for the junior class and he will be moving on to the semifinals. And the representatives for our sophomore class are up and both are down. Oh, and they're both right back up. Ball is in. <laughs> and we have tumble. And they go trampling over the goal. Is that even legal? But as the first score attempt, Tiffany has the ball. She's going down the court. And she goes tumbling into the KVX TV stand. This is going to be an interesting match, I can already tell. Tiffany goes for a score attempt and she misses by a smudge. And they are off the sophomores back in action. They go at each other's heads. And Chloe gets the first point of the game. Score is 1 to 0. And we go into the second match. We have, I believe, almost close to three minutes on the clock. And Tiffany gets right back up after that tumble she takes. Chloe with the ball. She goes for a cheeky. A goal attempt there. And Tiffany goes stumbling in her way in her attempt to get the ball. Chloe with an open shot at the goal. She shoots and she scores, but they both go tum She does not score actually, but they both go tumbling. Chloe again has another shot and she misses. With an open goal and another miss. The ball is in play. Again, Tiffany not even defending her side. Our sophomore is going to have to pick up the pace in order to score some points here. And she goes falling again. Tiffany's back up on her feet. Oh, oh she's stuck. Chloe with an open goal attempt and she gets another point. As a second opportunity. And she gets her goal in. Chloe with the points. She has the ball. And she goes between the legs and she gets it in. Score 4 to 0 in favor of Chloe. Tiffany yet to score. She gets it again between the legs. And another ball is in play. And she goes tumbling almost into the stand. This is. Hope our cameras are getting this. This is some interesting action. Maybe they're not even going for the ball. One minute. Another goal attempt 
she shoots and she scores. The score is 5-0. to zero. It's not even close, ladies and gentlemen. And they're off for their final attempt to score, hopefully. That's a nice block from Tiffany. And <laughs> she goes tumbling. That has to be a follower or something. And that is the game. Congrats to our sophomore class. Chloe Saplin taking it home for her class. And our freshmen are up for their chance to shine here for the Winter Olympic Hamster Ball Soccer. She has the ball in her attempt to score. It just goes out of bounds. gonna be interesting as she attempts to score. Both seem very fierce in their defense and offense. She tries to go between the legs, she shoots and she misses. At the ball, she shoots and another attempt and she misses again. That's another ball in play. She shoots, and that is a goal from across the gymnasium floor. Nice shot. Come on, freshman. Both are up. She shoots, it goes off of the hamster ball bubble. Hamster ball bubble. Excuse me. And she goes tumbling from her classmate. And that will be another point for our freshman here. In the spirit of lighthearted gameplay, these freshman girls are having as much fun as they could be having right now, as we have scores two to zero. Let's see what happens. They are up. They go running for the ball, and she goes tumbling. She goes right back up. She shoots, and she just misses. Another ball is in play. And she gets her attempt at her score. She shoots and she scores. That is another point. That is the first point for Emily Lavarius here. is down. Ball goes out of bounds but it just comes back inside. A sharp angle going out of bounds from here. As a reminder these are not the typical so soccer rules. This is hamster ball soccer here at Hilo High so almost anything goes as that ball goes out of bounds and Sarah goes tumbling. Not the ball in play. We have Emily with the ball. Let's see what she can do. How she can score. She tries to go between the legs. Using the hamster ball to her advantage. A little bit of competitive spirit here. They go into their third round to score three to one. Emily with the ball off of the hamster ball, it bounces. And she goes tumbling again. One minute. We have one minute on the clock. Emily with the ball in her possession. Sarah trying to pick up the ball. She shoots and Emily just catches it. Almost an open goal, Emily just misses that. We have a limited amount of the time on the clock. Sarah is doing her best to rack up as many points as she can against Emily. She shoots and she just misses hitting the cone. This is not a good day for these cones. 
Another ball in play. Seems the strap may be broken, but either way you slice it, Sarah takes it home, and that is game. Congrats to both freshmen participating in this, making this a wonderful experience for everyone to experience and watch here today. Now we have our junior and senior class facing off with only three minutes to score against each other. Masilla takes the first possession of the ball, trying to dribble his way down the court, trying to get a cheeky score between the legs. Let's see what he can do. Elijah playing a strong defense right here. And it goes out of bounds, the second ball is in play. And he makes a nice score for Masilla, representing his senior class. We are going to the second round, where both teams will have a nice chance to score. The score one to zero, Masilla in the lead. Elijah's gonna have to play defense here against the strong foot of Masilla with some already knowledgeable soccer experience. He gets it past Masilla, but a little bit away from the goal, so Masilla gains his possession. He shoots his shot and it just misses. New ball in play. And he gets it between the legs. That's a nice shot, but it's just shy of the goal. Getting it between the legs. That was almost a nice opportunity to score. The score again, one to zero. Limited time on the clock. Silla gets it off the hamster ball. One minute. With one minute, Masilla attempts to sc score off of the legs of Elijah and goes back in his possession. A little bit of stalling here, possibly. It must be hot with all that breathing and moving around inside of the hamster ball bubbles. New ball in play, Elijah has his chance to put up a strong offense with a small number, small amount of time on the clock. He's gonna have to score in order to possibly advance to the finals. Vasila with the shot and he gets it, two to zero. And that is game. Congrats, Masilla. He'll be moving on to the finals where he'll go up against the winner between the freshman and junior, so excuse me, sophomore class. It's going to be an interesting match. Now we will be having our freshman and sophomore class compete in order to advance to the finals. We have Sarah and Chloe. As Chloe gets her first shot, it is just shy of the goal. Chloe on a little bit of strong offense, tries to knock her competitor down. New ball is in play. Chloe with the possession, she shoots and she just misses. Freshman and sophomore class competing. The blue ball in play. These are both soccer players for Hilo High, so it's going to be interesting how this plays out. And she goes fumbling and she gets right back up and she scores. That was an amazing shot there. Chloe with the ball, she shoots, she misses. Both sides playing a strong offense. Sarah goes for the goal, she just misses. 
They need the cone. It looks like we have a malfunction with the strap on one of the hamster balls. And they are off again after the timeout. Chloe shoots with just a miss from the goal. New ball is in play. And she scores with an open goal. That was a little bit of a miscommunication there, but the point goes they are now tied one to one. I have one minute approximately on the clock. Going off of the legs of Sarah. Ball's back in play. Chloe has possession. She goes tumbling, going a little bit out of bounds. Sarah has the ball, she shoots, and she scores. Nice point for Sarah, representing her freshman class. 33 seconds left on the clock. Sarah is in the lead with two points to Chloe's one. She's playing a little bit of feisty defense here. And she goes tumbling across the goal. She gets right back on her feet. The ball, the blue ball is in play. She shoots, it is wide from the goal. Chloe gains her possession. And her attempt at a goal just misses. Got some feisty competitors here and that is the game, the final game of our semi-final section of the hamster ball soccer. Sarah comes on top, comes out on top. She is ahead two to one. We'll be advancing to the finals where Sarah will be going against Vasilla both with prior soccer experience so it's gonna be interesting. Make sure to stay tuned for that. And our freshman v senior matchup is happening. Three two one the timer sets off. Masilla is on offense to see what he can do. Dribbling his way down the court. Trying to get past the strong defense of Sarah. He shoots and he misses Sarah with the ball. Let's see what she can do. Put it up in offense. Ball goes just out of bounds. Another miss there. Sent Sarah tumbling. An open court. An open opportunity to score, and Masilla scores. First point of the game goes to Masilla for her seniors. As another reminder, we only have three minutes for this semi, for this final match of the day. Masilla with the ball. An attempt for a high goal there to no avail. Between the legs of Vasily it goes. Again, both players have prior soccer experience and knowledge, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. Another ball in play. Sarah with the ball, Let's see what she can do to score for her team. Season for her class. Vasilla with the ball now as it goes out of bounds. Coming close to one minute on the clock. Vasilla close to his goal with Sarah putting up a strong defense. She gains possession. She goes tumbling. Almost an entire D60 flip there. Sarah seems to be blocking the goal. And that's a nice block there. But it, that's a strong defense, might I say. And we are getting hectic here. Both players on the goal. And they're off with Sarah's maybe final attempt to score. She shoots and she misses. Marcella now gains possession of the ball. He's on the offense. 
he has the chance to score. So he's gonna have to put up a strong defense against him. Trying to use his dribbling skills with his long legs to get around Sarah. Putting up a nice block. We have two seconds of the game. And that is game. Congrats to Sarah and Masilla. And Masilla taking it home for the senior class. Wonderful team spirit from all the teams here today and all the classes. Congrats to all the participants for playing along and making this event and homecoming Olympics special and wonderful for everyone to view. Congrats to everybody watching and thank you for watching as well. That was hilarious, but everyone had a good time. Thank you, students. We hope you all enjoyed Show Your Spirit Wednesday. The games were fun and the winners will be announced on Friday night with all the other competition winners. Thank you for joining us today. Although there is no school tomorrow, we hope you will participate in Viking Family Thursday to watch Hilo High faculty and staff play Kahoot, dance, and sing. See you at 3 p.m. tomorrow, Vikings.